wrote after a conversation with my grandmother. I went over to see her during the pandemic, and that kind of awkward gap. Um, and uh, it was her 89th birthday, and she was going through a phase where she was she was panicking because of the pandemic. And uh, on this particular day, she was trying to pass down a very old family photo album to myself. And uh, uh, my brother and I have nicknamed it the Book of Death. There's so many dead people in this family photo album. She's like, she's like two years old in the most recent photo, and she's 91 now. And uh, she's like flicking through, and she turns to a picture of a young man in First World War uniform. And that's the first time I found out I had a member of the family that had fought in the First World War. I was 27 years old, and so I kind of turned to her, and I was like, why didn't you tell me? And she didn't say anything, she just turned the page again, and uh, I could see why there was another picture this time of a, a much older man in First World War uniform stood next to the younger man. And uh, the older man was my great-great-grandfather, and the younger man was his second son, Jack. And uh, Jack went off to war with my great-great-grandfather, and my great-great-grandfather came home alone. And I never knew I was from one of those families that was so devastated by something like that. And I was reading a book at the time that I heavily recommend you go and read, because I make a habit of writing songs about things that are worth remembering, not things that are worth forgetting. So this is a song about a lot of people always worth remembering. This song is called All Quiet on the Western Front.
destined from tonight